I want to talk about how to find antiderivatives. So let's recall that what an antiderivative is. Capital F of x is an antiderivative of little f of x, means that capital F prime equals little f. So when you look at this relationship, little f is the derivative of big F. Big F is an antiderivative of little f. So you, you basically guess and check to find antiderivatives. That's one, one method for doing it. So finding antiderivatives of this function, for example, f of x, little f of x equals 10x plus 4, you'd have to think of a function whose derivative was 10x plus 4. Now, I can think of uh, x squared has a derivative of 2x. So what would I have to do to x squared to make the derivative 10x? Multiply it by 5. So I could start with a capital F, which is 5x squared plus, and who's, what function's derivative is 4? Well, 4x has a derivative of 4. So f of x, capital F of x equals 5x squared plus 4x. Now let me check that by differentiating capital F prime. This would be, the two would come down in front, you get 10x. The derivative of 4x is 4. And there we go. That works. So this would be an antiderivative of 10x plus 4. But it's not the only one. 5x squared plus 4x minus 60. The derivative of the minus 60 part is just 0. So the derivative will still be 10x plus 4. And another one. 5x squared plus 4x plus 100. Any constant you want to add, the derivative is going to be 0. So the derivative will still be 10x plus 4. Now you can see I could go on and on like this forever. Keep, I can keep coming up with functions and just putting in different values for this constant. And I'll have lots and lots of antiderivatives of 10x plus 4. But that's not generally the way we write our answer. We write our answer in, in a nice condensed form. Any function of the form 5x squared plus 4x plus c is an antiderivative of the function 10x plus 4. So this is the way we generally write our answer. And the important thing to recognize here is once I came up with that first answer, 5x squared plus 4x, any constant I wanted to add, that would still give me an antiderivative. And that leads me to this important theorem. If capital F of x is an antiderivative of little f of x, then capital F of x plus c are all the antiderivatives of little f of x. That means that any function of this form is going to be an antiderivative, and that's all there are. So that's really powerful. <clears throat> and so, <clears throat> as I just said, the first example I came up with, 5x squared plus 4x, once I had found that antiderivative of 10x plus 4, I was done. All I have to do is add a plus c, and that's all the antiderivatives of 10x plus 4. Very powerful theorem. Once you find one antiderivative, add a plus c, and you found all of them.